Hello everyone, Ryan Film Productions 2 here. I have something to show you today. It's a vending machine. I've tried to get this as realistic as possible, um, not by the looks but by the features. You can see here we have stock indicators, we have three different choices, coin slot, coin return, and a pickup window. Operating this vending machine is fairly easy. You simply drop down a form of pay payment, and in this case it will be a diamond. This torch will represent that it has been accepted, and then you're free to choose an item. In this case I'll get blue wool. I'll come over here, and I'll see this blinking light block telling me to wait, and then there's my item. Pick that up, there you go. Like any other real vending machines, you can't get anything without paying. So I could do the same with any other item. I could get green wool too. And I could just come over here and then wait here too. I try to make this pickup window system as fast as I could get it. And this is about as fast as I could get it. So let's just say I wanted to buy something, but then I changed my mind. I can come over here and return my money. There's my diamond. Go pick it up, and I have it back. So now I will demonstrate how these stock indicator lights work. I will fly over here, and let's say that blue will just ran out of stock. There's no more. So the next person who attempts to get blue wool will see this. You can see here that the light block has shut off, indicating that it is out of stock. And this payment torch is still on, indicating that the payment or the purchase has not been counted and uh, I'm free to choose another item or I could just return my money. In this case, I want to return my money because I really wanted blue wool. So there's my diamond. Maybe I'll, I'll come back and uh, regardless of how many times I press this, I'm not going to get any blue wool. So maybe I'll just get red wool. Payment torch shuts off. I come over here and then I eventually get my item right there. So maintaining this vending machine is pretty easy too. Just come over here at the back and there's two main things you would usually do. Number one is to pick up all the items that have been put into the coin slot and also to restock the dispensers. So when we come up here there are these three torches here telling you what's in stock and what's out of stock. Torches that are shut off meaning it's out of stock. So blue wool is out of stock so I'll go restock it and for every dispenser you fill back up you press the button right above them to reset the indicator and now it's, now it's in stock and when we come back over here the light blocks on again indicating that it is in stock. This machine can handle requests uh, pretty fast. I'll uh, purchase a lot of blue wool really fast, or at least as fast as I could do it. I just threw down a lot of diamonds and purchased a lot of blue wool. So you can see here they're all coming out. And that's about it. And I could just come up there and pick up all my wool. I have built a few foolproof features to this. It isn't 100% reliable, but 
it's uh, I'd say 99% so let's just say some guy um, wanted to get multiple uh, multiple blue wool well when he does when he does try to spam this one button right here only one blue wool comes out if someone thinks that he could press blue wool and a, the coin return in rapid succession um, he would get the item and have his money back well go to try that when we come over here you can see I got the item but I didn't get my money back the first button you press is what you'll get so you can see here um, another thing is pressing the coin return when there isn't any money uh, the coin uh, return mechanism won't actually activate let's say someone wants to spam buttons thinking he could get all the items and he attempts to do that in the end he only gets the first button he pressed which is blue wool so I'll just do some more spamming here you can see here I got my money back but I'm not getting any items so there you go thanks for watching everybody and the world save is in the description so you can go try it out for yourself please report any bugs that um, come across because I would be glad to fix them and uh, thanks for watching